Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out some new makeup. I have some products in front of me that I'm so excited to try. So I'm very excited. So grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's dive into the video. This is really exciting. Like I have been waiting to film this video and play with these products. I have the Made by Mitchell color cases and I'm wearing green and I'm like, I really wanna play with the lime greens today. There's some gorgeous, you know, greens in this palette that I'm like, I wanna play with and kind of like get the vibe. I might do like a green and blue look. And I also thought that I could play with the green shades in the Surge palette from Lim Bunny. So that's what we're gonna start off with. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I am going to start off with the deepest and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to scoop out a tiny, tiny bit on here and just kind of like warm up the product. Look at that. Lots of pigment. So I'm just going to place this down where I want it. And I'll just start to kind of like blend out the edges. I'm basically going to kind of like use this as like an eyeshadow base. I'm going to take this shade right here called Lush and I'm going to go into that shade right on top of this green and just kind of like blend out the edges. I want to go into this like lime green right here. This is so pretty. And I'm just going to take this shade right in the inner corner right here love that this dries down to a matte finish. I want to go in with this lime green. I'm going to take this lime green shade in the palette. It's called Chemistry. And I'm going to basically just pack this on top of that green color case shade that I just put down because I feel like this just makes this so much more vibrant and so pretty. Wow, okay, this is gorgeous. It looks really good. I mean, I feel like it's like very simple. I as well just go in with this shade right here. We haven't gone into this one. This one is called Sour. It's even lighter than the other one. Like, it's almost like a neon yellow. I'm gonna place that more so in the inner corner. Ooh, that is so pretty. Kind of hard when you place it and then you blend it out because you kind of lose that lightness a little bit. I do like using the color case as like a base for my shadow. I'm gonna take this shimmer called Limitless. I do want a little bit of like shimmer in this look. I'm just going to tap this. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I'm just gonna tap this on the lid. Eyes are done. They look really good. Like they look very vibrant, which I really love. Now I'm gonna move into the Essentials color case and I wanna try out the black as a liner. So it definitely does work as liner. I feel like it'll be a lot easier to use and see like if I was doing like a natural kind of like makeup look because on top of the shimmer, it's kind of like hard to tell. And also because the outer corner is so deep, but it definitely does work as liner. For primer, I don't have a new primer, but I am just gonna go into this one from one size. This is the Secure the Blur Primer. This one is like almost out, oh my goodness. So I have this right here from Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Sheer Long Makeup. I have mine in the shade Sandalwood because that is the shade that I wear in you know, the foundation. Whoa, this is runny. Okay, hold on. It's a small bottle too. It's very sheer, very, very sheer coverage. Like I'm not even like seeing where it went. Oh, hold on. I feel like I would go through this really, really fast because of how runny this is. Also feel like this shade, sandalwood looks so much lighter than it does with the foundation. It's not giving enough coverage. Like I know that it's sheer, but I, was hoping that I would at least be a little bit buildable. So I don't know about this. I don't really feel like it really did anything but just kind of like smooth over the skin. I think I need a little bit more coverage, especially because I'm trying to go like full glam today. I'm just going to go in with my Double Wear foundation uh, because I feel like I'm gonna need a lot more coverage than this because, oh yeah. And see the color is so much different. I feel like 
This is warmer, but it's the same shade. Moving on, I picked up the Be Perfect Cronzer in the shade Nutty. I have been wanting to try this so bad. And, ooh, it's kind of hard to open. Picks up quite a bit of product. I'm just gonna tap to blend. Ooh, okay, I like the shade. It's giving more contoury on me, but I'm not mad at it because it blends really beautifully. Like it's really sculpting out the face. And I like that. And it also kind of like dries down to a matte finish, which is really, really nice. I really like this product. I like the shade too. It's not too contoury, but it's not too bronzy. It's literally the perfect middle shade. Don't have a new blush to try out, but I'm gonna go back into the Made by Mitchell color case. I'm gonna make my own little blush combination today. I am really dying to try both of these shades, but I feel like this is gonna be too like vibrant. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Whoa, that is bright. I'm also gonna take a little bit of, is that Fuwisha? Fuwisha as well. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. <gasps> That is gorgeous. Okay, that's gonna be our blush combo today. That's what we're gonna go in with. We're gonna try this out as a blush. Wow, this is pretty as a blush. I feel like I didn't take that much on a brush because I just really don't wanna like take too much, but I feel like I need it. I really like the electrics case because you really can customize it to your liking. And I'm loving this blush shade that was created. I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Chestnut. So it's Deep Chestnut. All right, concealer is on. Now I am really excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous because we're gonna go into the new Dominique Cosmetics Pink Brightening Powder. I am so nervous. It looks very pink. It's probably hard to see on camera. So I'm just gonna take some in the cap and I'm gonna take some on a powder puff. Ooh, it is, ooh, let's see. Pink powder I've literally never used before. So this is going to be new to me. Okay. All right, so literally like putting it under the eyes, it does not look pink at all. But I also feel like that really does just like depend on your skin to, oh wait, hold on. Looking in the camera, it kind of, kind of does look a little pink. Not sure exactly how it's supposed to look because I don't usually use pink powders to set. But definitely let me know what you think. Do you feel like it's kind of like brightening or what? Cause like, I'm not used to a pink setting powder, but it's cute, she's cute. It's just not something that I'm personally used to. Now, I also picked up the shade Translucent Deep uh, for all over the face. So that's what I'm gonna use this one for. I'm gonna take the same puff and I'm just going to use this to kind of like set all over the face. Just to like set and press this in. These powders from Dominique Cosmetics are truly a win for me because they are so good. I love it. The pink powder is not that intimidating. Now that it's on, I really can't tell that it's a pink powder, but like, you know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not. I do want to try out the Give Mascara. This is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. So I'm going to zoom you guys in as close as possible. We're going to see. It might be really hard to tell because of the eye color that I have on, but I do wanna see what this mascara is working with. The wand is so like weird because it looks like this, which is so interesting, but we are going to compare. I do like that it has that like tip. Here is one coat of the mascara. Definitely probably really hard for you to tell because of the eye look that I have on, but She's on there and she definitely does like lift up those lashes. Like she looks good. And I also like that this is not, this is more of like a drier formula, which I like a lot because I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara, it takes forever to dry down. And I hate that because it gets messy if I like don't wait. And then I like put lashes on, it's like all over the place, but I just love the look that that mascara gives me. Ooh, this is a really pretty mascara. That's one coat on both. 
I'm gonna go on with a second coat because low-key I might not wear lashes. Let's finish up the lower lash line. We're gonna go into the Essentials color case. Let me grab a like liner brush maybe, something that I can go in the waterline with. For liner, I think I wanna go into this one right here called Oats. Ooh, this is really pretty. I'm gonna put this in the waterline. Ooh, okay, as liner, that looks really good. I'm trying to use the color cases for as much as possible. And for liner, this is great. Ooh, I could have used the electrics, but I felt like I used the electrics for a little bit more in my look today. So I wanted to play around with the essentials. I'm going into the deep green that I first went in with. Ooh, it's so creamy. Oh my gosh. Though these are like, you know, in a pot form, they are very, very creamy and they blend so beautifully. Like I have literally no complaints, but I'm definitely figuring out my favorite ways to use this product. That looks good as a liner. That looks really good and it's so punchy. So I love that. Going back into the Give Mascara, I'm gonna use this on the lower lashes. I wanna see how this works. It's a little bit harder to do my lower lashes with this wand. I need something a little bit more precise. I'm not a fan of this mascara on the lower lashes. I feel like the wand is a little bit too big to actually coat my lower lashes. Going back into the essentials, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. It's called Cooler. And I'm gonna use this as lip liner. So that's gonna be fun. Ooh, that is a really dark shade. That was a really dark shade. I'm gonna go into Richer. I don't know if that worked. Don't know if that worked, but we're just playing around here. We're just playing around with the products. I do have these two lip glosses from Made by Mitchell. I don't feel like either of these would go with my makeup look today. I feel like this would not look very good. I'm gonna try out the shade Coral. <gasps> no. Oh no. Is it my favorite? No, definitely not. Not with this look, but since we're playing around, like I don't mind it. So to finish off, I'm gonna spray my face with the Mora Oil Control Setting Spray. All right, so let's dive into my final thoughts on these new products that I've tried today. Starting off with this right here from Estee Lauder, the Sheer Long Wear. To be honest, out of the two, I truly do prefer the foundation. I think this is so pretty. I also feel like the shade on here is definitely not the same shade as the foundation. I got the same shade in both, sandalwood, but this one just looks a little bit lighter. It's a lot runnier. This was definitely not my favorite. I truly do prefer this one over the sheer. The Be Perfect Cronzer, I really, really like this. I feel like the face is definitely sculpted and it's kind of bronze. I didn't go in with any powder bronzer, which is so unlike me. I'll usually go in with the cream and then a powder, but I didn't do that. I didn't feel like I needed to with this particular, you know, bronzer. And I really like the formula because it dries down to a soft matte finish, which I really, really like. The Dominique Cosmetic Setting Powders. So the, the pink one, I did not know what to expect. I don't know. I love the formula of these setting powders, but I can't really tell how it's supposed to look. I really prefer like the regular colored setting powder that I use. But I think I wanna try this to brighten. Like I'll go on with the regular to set and then I'll use this to like bake. I don't usually bake, but I feel like this might be a really good baking powder if I let this sit and give myself that brightness. Cause I really don't feel like my under eyes are bright, but I also feel like that really just depends maybe on your skin tone too. I do love the all over shade that I got, the medium deep shade. I love it for setting the face. Such a beautiful, finely milled, soft powder. It does not feel heavy and that's why I love this setting powder so much. They give mascara I really, really like for the upper lashes. For my bottom lashes, I don't really like. I feel like I like a more defined bottom lash, but I just wasn't getting that from this. I feel like the wand is a little bit too big. I also really like the formula, how it's not too dry, but it's not too wet. It's like the perfect middle formula, so I really do like that mascara. The Made by Mitchell color cases, I really, really like these. I feel like this is definitely like a learning curve kind of product. I do not have any other product like this in my collection, but I love the fact that it is so versatile and I can use it for so many different things. Using it for blush today, I love the blush colors that I got, but I feel like because 
I'm using it for blush and I love a, like a lot of blush and I like punchy blushes. I have to go on with a lot of products and I don't really know if this is gonna be a good way for me personally to use this product. I feel like I, I will get more use out of it if I use it as an eyeliner, a lip liner, an eye base, like cutting the crease. Like I feel like that's more beneficial, more of like keeping it towards the eyes and the lips. For me personally, you can use this for whatever you want, literally for whatever you want. But I really loved using this for the eyes. I feel like this made the eyeshadows pop, even though this eyeshadow formula does not need it. But I did, I wanted to use both. But I really do like how it just really emphasized this eye look. And I really like this one. This one is truly my favorite. He did tease that he's coming out with two more. So I definitely would get my hands on it. I think it's a really fun and cool product to have in your collection. I also feel like it's a really good product to travel with. Definitely will be using these to travel. Though it is in a pot like this, they are super, super creamy. Like I don't know how he did it, but these are so creamy. I haven't used all of these, but I definitely would use this for like cream bronzer slash cream contour. But I had the other products, so I couldn't use that like that today just to try it out. I like using it for eyeliner. I also like using it for lip liner as well. These like lighter shades would be good for like a center of the lip kind of shade. Ooh, I didn't think about that. But I also love that there's a white in here and there's like an off white that you can kind of use to like cut your crease. There's so many different ways that I could use this product. I have it in a nice compact little case. And then the Blend Bunny Surge Palette is so pretty. Like I've already used this palette in like previous videos. I feel like the formula is just so blendable and so easy to use. It's really, really great for beginners as well. The shimmers are not like the most like intense foiled, you know, metallic shimmers, but they are really pretty. I really like my eye look today. Lastly, this isn't really like too new, but like the Made by Mitchell glosses are so good. The colors are a little bit like out of my comfort zone and you have to find like the right looks to pair with the glosses. I really hope that Beauty Bay gets his other like more, like the little sparkly ones because those look more like everyday natural and that's what I'm like, looking for. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed playing with these new products with me. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Uh -huh.